Hi, President Obama. My name is Nikkei Kumagai, and I grew up in Kailua, Oahu, and I currently live in Davis, California. This Christmas, I made a painting for my grandma, and its name is Lysandra. This is my favorite painting that I've ever made so far because it reminds me of my grandma. Its colors are bright and beautiful, just like my grandma, and I'm so grateful to have such a supportive adult to look up to. Um, my painting is tagged with a RFID tag, which is a radio frequency identification microchip, which will play back when you tap your phone to it, um, videos, or in my case, memories. So the video I tagged on here is me explaining my painting to my grandmother, which is personalized and tailored just for her. Thank you. Hello, President Obama. My name is Kailani Kumagai. I grew up in Kailua, Oahu. I currently live in Davis, California. For this Christmas, I had asked for clay since I very much enjoy the art of sculpting. A couple days after Christmas, I found myself inspired to make a sculpture of the stone Buddha face that hangs upon my living room wall. Its name is the Mask of the Peaceful. The name came for it looks like the mask or expression that lays on a peaceful person's face. Once I had finished, I decided to give it to my grandma. I wrapped it up and now the Mask of the Peaceful is at its new home at my grandma's house. This is my RFID crate, the sort of to pass. Okay, internment, okay. But we were evacuated mainly because we were of this heritage. Japanese heritage, all right? And not only mm -hmm. that, this is a symbol for children. And I was a child. Mm -hmm. And so this has a very potent meaning in relationship to the internment process. Just imagine a classroom that can just tap a phone to a painting or a guitar and wham, you can watch the canvas being painted or the guitarist shred a sick riff. Our interactive art allows the student to become part of the artistic experience. Using a cell phone, they can write comments, songs, and videos directly onto our transmedia paintings and sculptures. RFID will be the savior of the arts.